Hello and welcome back to another story time with Yasmin. Today I'll be reading Nico Draws a Feeling by Bob Broxa. Illustration by Simone Shin. Nico loved to make pictures. Everywhere he went, he carried a box of colored pencils and a pad of paper. Because everywhere he looked, he saw something that inspired him. It might be a mother bird building her nest, or the low autumn sun peeking out from behind a cloud, or the ice cream truck ringling down the street. When Nico was inspired, it felt like a window opening in his brain. So that's what inspiration means. An idea would flip through the open window like a butterfly fluttered down to his stomach, then along his arm and fingers to his pencils, where it would escape onto his paper in a whirlwind of color. It was a wonderful feeling, and Nico tried to capture it as often as he could. Sometimes he showed his pictures to his friends. What is it? One of them would ask. It's the wrinkling of the ice cream truck, Nico would answer. It doesn't look like the ice cream truck, someone else would say. It's not the ice cream truck, Nico would explain. It's the wrinkling. Where's the bell? It's not the bell. It's the wrinkling. I don't get it. Sometimes he showed his pictures to his parents. What is it? His mom would ask. It is the warm of the sun on my face, Nico would answer. I don't see the sun, his dad would say. It's not the sun, it's the warm. Where's your face? It's not my face, it's the warm. Oh. Once he showed a picture to his teacher, Miss Reed. What is it? Miss Reed asked. It's the hard work of a mother robin building her nest. Nico answered. Where is the robin? It's not a robin. It's the hard work. So, this is the nest? It's not the nest. It's her hard work. I see. But Miss Reed didn't see. None of them did. One night, Nico sat on his bed thinking about all the pictures taped to his walls. Then he looked at himself in the mirror. He was inspired to make another picture, only this one he taped to the back of his door, where no one else could see it. The next day, Nico was heading out with his paper and colored pencils when he noticed a moving truck next door and a girl about his age. Hi, said the girl. I'm Iris. I'm Nico. Hi. What are you doing with that stuff? This? Nothing. Are you going to draw? Well, yeah. I like to make pictures. Can I see them? I don't know, he said. You might not like them, but I might. Iris answered. Nico decided it would be rude to say no, so he invited Iris over. When they got to his room, Nico waited for her questions, but she just looked and looked. Finally, after looking at every pictures in the room, Iris discovered the one behind the door. Wow! 
said Iris. What? said Nico. You must have been sad when you made this picture. How did you know? Iris thought. It looks like how I feel, you know? Sad because I had to move. Suddenly, Nico felt a window opening in his brain. Oh, he's inspired again. Can I make a picture of you? asked Nico. For me? Sure, said Iris. Like a butterfly, an idea flitted through an open window, fluttered down to his stomach, then along his arm and fingers to his colored pencils. When it escaped onto his paper in real wind of color. When he was finished, he handed the picture to Iris. This time, Nico asked the question, What is it? Iris looked at the picture for a long time without saying a word. At last, she looked up at Nico. I'm not sure exactly, but it makes me feel like I made a new friend. Nico stared at Iris. You can see that? I can feel it, Iris replied. Like a butterfly landing on my finger. A butterfly? asked Nico. I know, it sounds weird. Nico smiled, not to me. The end. That was a beautiful story, wasn't it? So, do you also like to draw or paint or creating any sort of art? You know, there is always more to creating art, any sort of art, than just merely drawing or making things. We all have feelings, and feelings also can inspire us. We can express ourselves, we can show our friends and family how we feel about different things. What's the <laughs> color of joy? What is the color of dancing? What is the color of rain? How would you paint? the feeling, the joy that you experience after or while you're eating a chocolate ice cream or a cheesecake or when you go to the beach with your mommy and daddy and you build a sand castle what's the color? how does that emotion feel? can you draw that? Can you make art about your emotions and feelings? Try it sometimes. And I love to see some of your arts. <laughs>